Hey, yo, we can't fight news. Deontay Wilder is looking to break a new record as he hits 1 million once again on Showtime. It's he can't fight news. We've got more on this. Hey, yo, Deontay Wilder, uh, he's done it again. Peaks, 1 million views on Showtime, Championship Boxing, and give him credit. Right now, he's the only active boxer to get a 1 million plus uh, viewership on a premium cable network, right? ESPN, it ain't premium cable. That's just basic cable. HBO fell out of boxing. Actually, the only one left is really Showtime. And you can consider, in my opinion, I actually consider quote unquote the zone to be, you know, that sort of a replacement for HBO, right? I don't know if HBO costs y'all $20 a month, but, um, um, you know, once upon a time, it was the flag bearer. It was the brand that was the network for champions. It's a network for boxing champions. That's what HBO was. But right now, um, that's in the past, man. HBO is out, it's out of the game. The zone, the zone might be out of the game, right? Apparently, they're. I told you guys they were bleeding money, didn't I? Didn't I say that on several occasions? Well, yeah, the zone's bleeding money. The zone doesn't have enough of a subscriber base in the U.S. to justify. What they're paying Gennady, guys that aren't even American. Gennady Golovkin, Canelo Alvarez, fucking, you know, who else they got that makes zero sense? You know, they got, whatever, Demetrius Andre, who isn't really a draw, but is a very impressive fighter. Um, Paid Danny Jacobs 10 mil. 10 mil plus. Um, you know, they, they've been invested in, in the Eddie Hearn side of things. Which means a whole lot of Anthony Joshua. A whole lot of um, Joshua Boatze. And, you know, all those other guys. Right? You know, uh, who else? He, he brought in Jesse Vargas. Remember Jesse, Jesse Vargas main events with Thomas DeLorme? Jesse Vargas main event with Humberto Soto. How about Humberto Soto versus Brandon Rios? How about that one? You know, you know, it is what it is. Meanwhile, Deontay Wilder knocks out Dominic Brazil in one round and smokes a, an impressive rating. Of a one million peak on a one round fight. That means damn near one million was trying to catch this main event. And you know, if if that went, if if that fight goes a couple rounds, that peak would be a lot higher. And I think I think that is is a main reason as to why the rating wasn't higher. Because that Rating is, is actually something where Deontay Wilder's done bigger numbers. He's done over a mil. But you know what? This is, this is actually the reason why all these casual fans, they come to your channel, oh, when's the fight start, E-King? When's the fight? Yo, if you don't know when these fights are starting by now, just, just like, come on, man. Come on, you got to ask me before every single fight, when's the fight start? When's the main event, E. King? Like, yo, it's, it's always between 11 to 12. <laughs> Some point, it's going to start around 11.30 or 11 o'clock on the early side. I think this started around 11.10 or so. And Deontay Wilder showed 
You better not blink. You better not blink, son. Because one right hand away from unconsciousness. That's, that's what it is. So let's check out this article here on Boxing Scene. And let's see what they had to say, man. You can't fight news. We got more on this. All right, so you guys see the headline right there. Shout out to Keith Eidick. Wilder's KO Brazil peaks at 990K viewers for Showtime. According to feed figures released by Nelson Media Research, the Wilder Brazil bout peaked. Attracted a peak audience of 990,000 from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Their two minute 17 second fight, the main event of a three belt broadcast, drew an average live viewership of 886,000. Um, wow. So, yeah, like I said, who's the last fighter to hit a million on, on any kind of boxing network with, with the premium, you know? cable uh, attached to it. I mean, Showtime's really the only one still in the premium cable market that's showing boxing. HBO's out of the game to zone. is a streaming service. ESPN is, you know, a multi, multi, multi uh, channel service that you, you get on any basic uh, package. Over in the States. Um, I mean, shit. It's a good look for Deontay Wilder, man. It's a great look. Uh, interesting part is he's done bigger ratings, right? In the Luis Ortiz fight, I believe it did 1.5. But that was an 11-round fight. This was one minute and 20, two minutes and 17 seconds on a first round KO that was absolutely stunning. It was, a, it was a shocker. I mean, all of us expected a knockout. I don't think we were expecting it two minutes in, but Wilder showed up big time with the right hand. He showed up big time. And you know what? AJ's got to be a little bit shook. AJ's got to be concerned because it took him seven rounds to take out Dominic Brazil. Seven hard-fought, tough rounds where you hit him with several clean shots, several of your best shots. This dude's getting hurt, getting recovered, throwing some shit back at you. But ultimately, man, Brazil way too slow, man. Way too... Um, just fucking, this dude was so, like, in a daze, like, like he wasn't even really concerned about the power that was coming his way. He went in there with no concern. He went in there negligent for his own safety. And you must protect yourself at all times, man. You got to. And Brazil failed to do so. That's why he ended up, man, that's why he ended up knocked the fuck out. That's why Dominic Brazil ended up looking like this, man. That's exactly why. Um, but y'all know what it is, man. What do y'all think, man? What do y'all think? One million views on Showtime. Um, it's definitely going to be better than the views that AJ will get on the zone because Canelo just fought on the zone and he did 600. He did a rating of 600K. So how many paid subscribers are going to be tuning in to AJ? That's the real question. Because uh, I'm pretty sure... The does, does, does Zone does own playing some sneaky ass tricks on his subscribers. And I'm sure if you hang around for that AJ fight, they just might bill you. They just, they just might bill you for uh, an extra month or so. Yeah, like you never know what these guys... You never know. You really never know. But let me know what you guys think. It's E King Fight News. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, what do you guys think about the zone possibly selling out and getting out of the American market, getting out of Dodge? Because 
man, they're fucking, they're a crater full of, of lost money, man. They're, they're bleeding money, you know, by the gallons and shit. Like, it's, it's all fucked up over there, man. It's all fucked up. And, and they don't have the subscribers to justify what they're paying out to guys like Canelo and, and AJ and Gennady Golovkin and so on and so forth. So let me know what you guys think, man. E-Kings Fight News, and we're out. Peace.